Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a hardcore PC gamer, and today I figured we should take a nifty look at the Molotov grenade right here, in which, as you can see, I'm playing around with. So the Molotov is one of the more underrated grenades, in my opinion, in this game right here, in which, um, yeah, it's essentially a fire field that you got on hand, on command, per se, in which if you throw it anywhere, it will blow up and a field of fire will um, be uh, deployed, in which means that if anybody's standing close to that field, they will burn to death. Now, the more interesting thing with the Molotov I found is is that it not only does age or how old the fire is the, the, tell you how much damage it will deal, but if you then time it right, you can actually rush through a Molotov and not take too much damage, contrary to an old one that will hit you a crap ton. So this is here will be a lovely demonstration of how it works. Uh, this is a brand new one, in which you can see that the ticks of damage that you take will not be that much in the start, while an older one will hit your crap ton in the end, uh, approximately 7 or 8 per tick. Now, this one right here from T-Side, let's take a quick look, it's worth 400 bucks, while on CT-Side it's worth 600. Now, on CT-Side you do get one that will uh, prefer uh, to take more ticks off of your armor, contrary to damage, so in contrast, this one right here will be a little bit better, in my humble opinion. But that aside, so the Molotov, as you then might understand, is actually not that terrible to rush through, especially if you uh, got multiple players spawning close to a point a choke point, for example, in which, uh, yeah, getting through there fast would be good. So let's say that you're T-side right here, you got yourself some lovely Kevlar to dampen the damage in general that you do take from Molotovs. If you then decide to rush through drop down, and you you and your two teammates are all rushing pretty quickly, quickly to this area right here, if then the Molo Molotov, you know, just blooms right here, you can just run through and it won't really take that much damage, which is a good tactic, but then again, you will still be hurt and you still have to face people, so it can be a little bit risky in that aspect. Uh, from there on out, I think we should cover a couple of other nifty basic strategies with the Molotov, which is to um, burn a corner in which somebody might uh, be camping at. Now, if there is multiple people trying to kill this guy camping in this corner, that is going to be preferably better, because there's a couple of outcomes with trying to burn a corner where somebody's standing at that might uh, happen. And one will be that he will stand in this fire right here and then run out like a goose and you will get to shoot him in a very easy and pathetic manner, which he can do. However, as we've just learned, the Molotov is not necessarily that dangerous initially, which means that he can take a gunfight right here. Uh, now I obviously did not have enough uh, health left, but he can take a gunfight that you won't expect. He can then kill you and then he can run away uh, with his life in hand which means that if you then preferably have two people uh, trying to take on this guy that is actually going to be preferable contrary to just one even though again if you have if you must you must but still um, it's a decent strategy now a funny thing is that this guy also have other options if you have a smoke grenade so as I'm going to demonstrate right here uh, you can blow this kind of smoke grenade up in two different ways and we've seen a lot of pro players already doing this basic one right here which is to as quickly as possible just distinguish that smoke, uh, I mean fire with a smoke grenade, uh, on the spot. Now this is a decent strategy to work at, but imagine that you instead was to have that little line go in a different direction. That actually changes the entire smoking, saving yourself game drastically. So let's see what we can do right here. Now keep in mind that the smoke grenade will in general blow up instantly, but if it's thrown away from you, it actually gets a little bit extra travel time. So it won't really blow up as soon as it leaves you in the middle of the air, which is good. Um, now now let's do it, shall we? So here we are, and then we throw the Molotov right here, I mean the smoke right here instead. Now you actually don't, don't only you have, you know, you got an escape route, but yeah, there we go essentially. You've now been able to successfully create an escape route, and or at least a smoke field that will help you out in this lovely battle. So yeah, depending on time and place, this can actually be used to, to good, so think about that as well. Now let's cover one more known thing that will um, surround planting the bomb. Let's say that you want to keep that bomb from being diffused. Uh, if it's on a one-on-one -on -one situation, I would almost always recommend to not only throw the Molotov and then start to burn the bomb, in which, yeah, you gotta be careful where the, mol uh, the Molotov lands. It is a bit bouncy, as you can see right here. So that's kind of annoying as well. It can make it, uh, you know, completely fail, but also that means that you can throw a couple of very nifty Molotovs if you know what you're doing. But the theme and the point is that because of how we know that the initial ticks are pretty low damage, you should almost always in a 1v1 situation at least commit to see whether or not the guy's faking or actually sticking uh, the bomb defusal in the smoke as a TE player. Because, you know, that means that you can just shoot him, he have to stick, and you'll get an easy kill regardless. But if it's multiple players, you need to be very careful about the timing in that scenario it can be incredibly difficult to uh, succeed um, so there's that only almost only practice will makes perfect in that avenue the last thing I want to try and showcase and this is really difficult to to showcase is that if you throw a Molotov pretty high up 
it won't necessarily hit anything if you throw it too high. But if you allow it to get all the way down, you can actually teleport to surfaces. So I figured I would show that off because I've actually developed a couple of strategies of burning the backside of B uh, cache, which means that as a T player, you can easily take that side. You only have to cover maybe the upper area, the vent room, and inner uh, left side of the site, which is kind of nice. So there's that. Um, and that in combination with this lovely ability of just burning a roof in which a smoke might land at, which um, I'll give all credit really to Anders that was able to find a, a couple of pro players doing this in pro matches and highlight it. Uh, that can also be uh, done with a Molotov in a more interesting kind of use, uh, use because, you know, that means that essentially uh, they won't be able to, for example, smoke the banana from CT, the CT area all the way to banana regardless of where they are on the map. Now this requires keen timing on your hand to figure out when they have their timing and then intercept it, but regardless it's another very nifty small use of the molly that that I figure should be highlighted. So hopefully you people enjoy this video. I'm going to try and cover maybe not as in-depth uh, other grenades in the coming future, so feel free to subscribe for that. Uh, if you want to support the channel, we got the Patreon page, so feel free to look at that as well. Links in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and don't get beastified when you play.